Bless you. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to Spyro Reignited. This is part six I believe and we're gonna head in, into Terrace Village. Look at this dude. <laughs> He's no match for us. Just like all the other big dudes in this game. They're all pushovers. Haha! <laughs> I got a little tank. This is a cool level. Sneak attack that guy, he wasn't even looking at us. <laughs> Those guys are cool. This is a cool level. I like this level. You can't shoot me. Got him. Look at these wall things. <laughs> They're weird looking. <laughs> I like this guy. Come here, you. Nice. I think that's... Oh, I was gonna say, I think that's all the gems in this first area. Little did I know that I just walked past the most obvious gems. There's even more. Nice. Okay. Cool. Now we can proceed to the next area of this level. Thank you for guiding me, Sparks. It's Claude. Watch out, Spyro. The Norks in these parts have discovered the power of electricity, and it really stings. <laughs> I believe it. Get out of here, nerd. Actually, those guys are the nerds, the robot guys. Ooh, we got fireworks here. Let's see where it goes. Ah, chest behind that guy. We didn't get to see the gems pop out, but it's not a huge deal. There must have been two chests. Cause, or, I mean two fireworks. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. So there's got to be more fireworks somewhere so that we can open this chest because it's not openable otherwise. Is openable a word? I don't know. We're going to say it even if it's not because it sounds fine. Whoa. I didn't see you. I just saw the electric floor and knew I had to jump. I didn't know I had to time it with the robot. Bam. What are you laughing at? You didn't hit me. You missed. <laughs> Good job, Spyro. One day you'll be able to tell all the dragons about your amazing adventures. Sure, but what I'd really like to do is get out of this swamp. <laughs> that guy was funny. <laughs> I did not expect any of the dragons to be laying down like that. Alright, I'm gonna go up first instead of going down there. Actually, I think down doesn't lead anywhere, so we'll go down first. I think that's all the gems, yeah. Yeah, down is just a, a little side area. Okay, cool. So now we can go up. Okay, yeah, I'm not missing anything down here. Come here, you. Cool. 
<laughs> that was cool. I remember that being hard when I was little. It's like, how am I supposed to hit them? Oh wait, I think we could have just done the bottom area this way. Well, it's not so bad. It's not a very far walk around to get back up. It probably would have been more efficient to do it that way though, instead of the way that I did. But you know, live and learn. Nice. I think there's more electricity guys in Spyro 2. I'm pretty sure I remember that being a thing. We're gonna go this way first. Cause there's nothing over there, and that is where the exit is. So we'll try and find the other firework, the other fireworks from up here. We'll just grab these gems while we're here, might as well. Okay, now where are we missing? Okay, nothing behind the portal. They're down somewhere though, that's where Sparks is pointing. Oh. Oh, right up there, okay. So I need to figure out how to get up there. It's probably not that hard, and I'm just doing it wrong. And by doing it wrong, I mean going the wrong way. Yeah, I think I'm going the wrong way. Hmm. Oh, well there's a gem here, we'll pick that up real quick. Alright, well, while, until I figure out how to get up there, I'll just edit the, the footage out so you guys aren't bored with me running around aimlessly. Ah, oh, okay. It just clicked that I could, uh, I could have glided from up there. So that's what I did. Is there anything down here? No. Hmm. Was I already here? I'm not sure. I know I was in this area. I was just on the bottom instead of the top. Could have sworn that I was here already, but I guess not. Alright. There's two rockets. There's one over there for that chest. Nice. And there's one right here. For that chest down there. Cool, okay. So now we'll grab these gems and then we'll go back and get those other ones. Nice, end of level. Cool. We'll cut to the exit. Next up, we'll head on into Misty Bog over here. And if, 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 big if we have time for it, I might do treetops as well. This level is longer than most other levels, and treetops is also longer just because of how difficult it is. So we might not have time for both of them in this video. If, it, if there's not enough time to do treetops, then I'll do the boss. And then we'll just double back to treetops, because treetops honestly deserves its own video. Because of how dumb it is. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> That's funny. Alright. Ah, okay, cool. Now, in the original game, this was the song that they used in the credits. I don't know if they use it in this game, but I distinctly remember this being the credit song in the original game. Well, those things are fast. I don't even know what they are. They're like 
plant monsters, I guess. They're weird. Alright, let's glide over here. This is a cool level too. It's like a... I'm not sure what the theme is. It's like a... It's a marsh. It's a bog, obviously, but... It's like, uh, also got, like, like, camp fortress themes. It's cool. I, I like it. I like a lot of the levels in this game. There's a lot of really good designs. Whoa, whoa. Okay. Good thing I can jump on that rock right there. <laughs> Yeah, those things are weird looking. Those also scared me when I was little. Alright, get up there. Be on the lookout for attack frogs. They are cold blooded killers. Attack frogs? And this used to be such a nice swamp. Yeah, those frogs, I mean, the couple that I just beat over there. They didn't look so threatening, but those things are actually, like, really dangerous. Probably one of the most dangerous enemies in this game, I'm not even joking. Good thing they're only on this one level. <laughs> because they are scary. Now, do I go over there, or... No, I don't think I'll be able to reach either of those, so I'll go this way. Jump up here, come on, and we'll go this way. Nice and satisfying. Get all those guys in a row. Also, we can go that way, and I think I'm going to go this way, because if I recall correctly, this is like the backtrack way. So if we do this now, then it's less time uh, backtracking later. I, I think, I'm not, I don't know. So this is difficult just because there's three frogs all just there. Okay, we were lucky enough to get through them safely, so that's good. Oh, okay, this is, yeah, this is a dangerous area because there's just so many enemies. <laughs> and you don't really have invincibility frames when you get hit in this game. Like, you do, but they don't last long at all. So, you just have to be careful. I think it was smart to get that frog from in between these dudes before getting them. The frog probably would have killed me if I didn't get him first. So we gotta be careful now because we don't have sparks. Thanks for releasing me. It seems like I've been trapped in here since I was your age. Oh no! Why? I remember. Uh, uh gotta go! <laughs> Spyro does not like listening to stories. I mean, I can't blame him. Old people don't exactly tell interesting stories most of the time. Sometimes they can tell good stories, but most of the time they're not exactly the most entertaining stories. Whoa. Okay. I'm a little bit upset about that one because he like, bonked into uh, it was like I hit the wall but I didn't think I was near a wall I'll I'll watch the footage back but I I don't think I hit a wall or anything there I don't know why he just fell like that but I mean we have plenty of lives we still have 23 lives so it's fine I guess oh make it okay yeah he made it that was my phone vibrating sorry about that I will just put it somewhere where it won't be so loud when it vibrates. Okay. Ok, 
Can you stand on that tree? I guess you can. I don't know why I didn't think you could. Oh, this is a cool little area. Oh. <laughs> For some reason I thought those were regular chests. Whoa, almost got eaten there. But yeah, that other path was definitely the backtrack path, and this is the main path. Thank you for releasing me. Alright, that's three for our thank you for releasing me counter. Whoa, what the heck? That was really weird. I was I think the the pig headbutted one of the enemies into me. I was I mean and then I got distracted by that and then it got hit. Yeah, the pigs are they charge at you and you're not even looking. That's that's uh that's something, we'll say that. Look, yeah, the pigs just <laughs> I got hit by that guy and the pig said, Hey, don't do that. So, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, they just start charging without you even looking at them. That's fine. I mean, we're not dead, so <laughs> it's not a huge deal. Alright, I think there's not many gems left. Yeah, how many... Oh, whoops. How many more can there really be? We have... Hope there's not another hundred more, that'd suck. Oh my gosh, there is. Hey Bubba. I'll tell you what to do with those creatures. Smash them, Spyro! Stamp them out and squish them and squash them! <laughs> <laughs> How about charge them and flame them? We are dragons after all. <laughs> But I'm glad we're on the same page. Okay, now this is like a little bit of an obscure secret. I mean, it's not really a secret. It's like hidden in plain sight. It's another one of those things where if you knew about it, it's obvious. But if you didn't know, I can see how it would be hard to find. Because now there's a whole area up here. So yeah, it's... Not a, it's not super obvious that you can come over here, but those that does at least look like a staircase, that temple. So, or like the wall, I guess. Oh, I missed one. <laughs> well, I missed him twice, so <laughs> I paid for that. Is that two deaths on this level? Yeah, it is. Wow. I'm, I'm running down my stockpile of lives for treetops, which is not good because you need them for that level. Still have 22. That's not bad. Oh my gosh. I just, you want as many as you can get for treetops because that is the worst level. <laughs> oh, come on. All right, I got them all that time, so that's good. And this is probably the last of the gems. There's a lot of gems up here. Yeah. Nice. So now we can exit the level. Seven thousand. Pretty good. Pretty good. We're doing well. I don't think we have time for treetops. I've only been recording for 21 minutes, so we still have a little while left for this episode. But treetops is just... It, it takes so long. So I don't think we'll be able to do it. Why did that boar die when we came here? But anyway, we'll do the boss so that we at least can um, 
have a 30 minute episode. Alright, and here's Metalhead. I remember that. I I remember that distinctly because I would always get hit by that. <laughs> but not anymore. I don't know what creature those guys are supposed to be. Sorry about that door slam. But they're pretty uh I don't know, they're they're ugly. I'll just say that. <laughs> They're cool looking, but also ugly at the same time. Hmm. Is there a gem up here that I missed? Oh no, it's just a bridge. Oh, okay. Oh, I missed that guy. Oh my goodness. I am not controlling Spyro as well as I should be. Hmm. Let's go this way. I know that that dude launched like two guys at me, and I'm not sure if they both drop gems or if only one of them does, so that's what I was looking for a second ago. Alright. Oh, someone's throwing bananas. Look at this dude. Are they like monkeys or something? Kind of look like monkeys a little bit. Oh, I'm really low on health. Come on here. Sparks, eat the butterfly. There we go. Stop throwing bananas. Okay, I don't remember how we get up. I know we can go down, but I forget how we get up. Is it this way? No, it's the other way. It's a good to go down. Yeah, there we go. So, I don't remember if it's like... Okay, I, I'm pretty sure you could go through there without getting hit, and I'm just bad. <laughs> okay. Let's see what's up the stairs. Ah, gems. Good. Good, good, good. And there's also a key. Glad we came this way. Alright, we can't climb in this game, otherwise I would try to climb that. I don't think there's anything in there. It looks nice though. Yeah, I think we gotta take the whirlwind on the other side. Oh, come on. Okay, there we go. Yeah, down here. Oh, whoops. <laughs> ah, that's how you get up here. Okay. So you have to go down to get up. Thanks. Sense, I guess. Oh, please make it. Oh, thank goodness. All right. Cool. Now we can go fight the boss. He's in this big fort. Oh, wow. They actually put his head on top of it. That's pretty cool. I feel like you wouldn't see that unless you specifically look at it. Huh. That's cool.
Metalhead is all charged up to meet you. Attacking the power pole should disrupt his power supply. Thank you for that. And there he is. So, you don't charge them when they're red, but you do charge them when they're green. And he throws little dudes at you. So, you gotta watch out for that. Whoa, he throws big dudes too. I did not know that. Cool. Oh, I was gonna say, he used to run faster, but he just didn't kick it into high gear yet, I guess. Oh, good thing I looked out here, because I missed the gem. Ah, oh, and you can't go back once you come in here. I was gonna go back and um, get some health, but I guess I will not be doing that. And I just need to be careful in this part. Is there any health in here? Let me check over here. Nice goo waterfall. Okay, no health, but there's gems. Nice. Okay. Now I'm gonna have to pay extra attention to the gems and everything. Because I don't have sparks to tell me where they are. Oh, I breathed fire, but I was too early. I had the right counterplay, just bad timing. Oh, we gotta do both parts. Okay, so I'll just be more careful of this part. Whoa. It changed right before I got it. What the heck? That's hardly fair. It's like he pooped out that dude on me. And what are these things all floating here? I mean, I know they're extra lives, but I didn't think that they were sort of not in the original, that's why I was surprised by them. Whoa. Hey, be cool, man, be cool. It breaks his own towers, too. It's a little weird. Nice. took care of him. So I was honestly before the level going to say that he was easy, but I clearly that's not the case because I died. <laughs> I mean, he's still easy. I just was um, not careful in the first try. A lot of gems up here. All that good stuff. How many am I missing? Ten. Well, they're all inside here, I hope. Oh, come on. I'll try it here, closer to the whirlwind. Just... <laughs> okay. There we go. Oh, uh, no, I'm missing five. Please be here. No, I think they're in the first part of the level. Yeah, they're in the first part of the level. I'll be right back. Oh, this guy. Oh, I definitely thought that I beat this guy. Maybe I didn't. Anyway. That's the end of the level. Cool, we're making good progress. 
So next episode we'll take care of treetops and then we'll head into the Dream Reapers world. And then that is the second to last world in the game, so we're doing good. We got six, this is part six. I think we'll have eight or nine parts by the end, maybe 10 for Spyro 1. And then we'll start Spyro 2. We'll probably start that on, actually, when I say start that on Monday, I mean probably recording. It probably won't be posted until like the end of next week or something. Or like midway through or whatever. But anyway, that's the end of this episode. I'm just going to fill up Sparks' health real quick so that I can head to treetops. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode.